Well, we get ready for group number two in the men's free program. Our first competitor comes from Hungary, Alexei Vasenko, 16 years old, second junior Grand Prix in 20th half of the short program. He's a Hungarian senior bronze medalist, 90.51 personal best. He'll need an 81.69 to take the lead as he skates the Blues for Kluk. Alexei Vlasenko from Hungary just interpreting at the end with that little roll over the shoulder and their brilliant Blues for Clute music was sporadically interspersed with some interpretation from the young Hungarian. Yeah, it's interesting. He's rather a tall young man at this point of his growth and he could see his head down quite a bit throughout the program but he's quite strong as well so he checked out of those jumps pretty well if that posture will add so much to the aesthetics the body line the efficiency if you will you can see the head looking down on the ice right there and there again watch the head it's down and you want to have that head along with the back, strong back and there's the head looking down to the ice. So that's just an area that if you can improve that, and that's a hard one because 
you're getting the reference of where you are on the ice by looking down, but it does break the body line. And so you kind of want to improve that, but then you all of a sudden see a different horizon, and that's kind of freaky as well. So <laughs> yeah. I used to skate like that. So I, re <laughs> I know that better than as well as anybody. So I know that was hard to do to get your head up for sure. But it's something with triple jumps, it's something that's really important. And the impact of that head down and the posture is being seen in the grades of execution put in by the judges. So not, not necessarily some of the elements coming in, it's just very base on the GOE, so not plus, not minus, no major mistakes, but just not the extension and level of flow and running edge yeah. that will facilitate a higher GOE. And it's the hardest to teach a young man because, yeah. um, first of all, they oh, they feel it. They don't feel what you're saying, that, hey, your head's down. Yeah, no, it's, you know, you, you, you get that, because they're going by feel, you're going by sight. Um, that's one of the hardest things to teach them. It's harder than a jump because they want to jump. But they don't want to necessarily fix the posture. So it's a hard thing to fix over time. And usually you send them off into the you know, ballet room or whatever for the other teachers to, to work on that. But it's, it's critical to future success. And the sooner that the skaters can get on that and learn how to have a strong body car, straight back, you know, good body alignment, uh, the better it's going to be for them long term. And as a fast generalization, lots of boys might not have the same, they'd be a little more introverted, especially in their teenage years. Not for all, but for some. And so it can be a real challenge for the coaches to try and extract that level of confidence that might not be inherently within them. Yep, absolutely true. So they're sitting there thinking about what that was like and what they did and not sure you know, where does this stand. And You know, it's so important that these young athletes get the encouragement, get the facts, but get the encouragement as well. 89.36, that's first in the free program with a 136.80 total competition score, and that'll put Alexei Vlasenko of Hungary currently in the first place at this stage of the competition.